So MLB The Show 22 is almost here. We're in the final two weeks, and that means we have a ton of different videos to make for you guys to get ready for MLB The Show 22. So in this video, we are going to be talking about how to make stubs as fast as possible and as many as possible at MLB The Show 22. On day one, we're investing. We're flipping cards on the market. We are knowing which cards to buy, which cards not to buy, which modes to play, which are going to give us the most stubs, and even which game version to buy that can give you the most value for MLB The Show 22. If you're excited for this one, do me a favor. Hit the like button, hit that subscribe if you were new. I would greatly appreciate it, but I hope you all enjoy the video and let's get it. Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub count. Take over YouTube. Ooh, we teaming. My content so high. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. So in this video, we are going to use MLB The Show 21 as a reference for MLB The Show 22 on how to make stubs as quickly as possible with a bunch of different ways that are not just flipping cards on the market. Obviously, flipping and investing in cards are super essential, but there's other ways to make stubs in the game that might be a little bit more fun for people that don't want to just sit on the market, use all their time and patience on getting cards and selling them for a profit. So we will talk about flipping and investing in this video, but we're also going to be talking about how you can play the game and make stubs as well. And again, we are using 21 as a reference because 22 is not out. Yeah, but if you're watching this video when 22 has come out, you can still use these methods, these ways to make stubs in 22 while I'm making the updated video for when the game actually does come out. So the first way we will talk about is obviously the most common that I already talked about, and that is flipping and investing into cards on the marketplace. Now, obviously in 21, we have 99 overall cards. We're not going to be seeing 99 overall cards in MLB The Show 22. So just keep that in mind when I'm showing you all examples. So we'll move on to the first card. For those of you guys who don't know what flipping a card is, essentially what you're going to be doing is buying a card at a value that is less than what it's actually supposed to be sold at and then you wind up reselling that card for a profit so let's take for example this 99 overall eric davis that right now you can buy on the market for 700 000 stubs and it looks like that's actually a pretty decent value because you will see the other price points to buy this eric davis after that 700 000 stub price point is 780 000 800 000 822 000 and more so it looks like the real value of this eric davis is roughly about 750 000 to 800 000 stubs on the market Place. So that seems like a pretty solid value. So if you wanted to go ahead right now and buy this Eric Davis on the market, you can do that for 700,000 stubs. Or what you can do is put a buy order in. Now a buy order will help you. Let's say if a seller puts up an Eric Davis, they see one's up for 700,000 stubs right now, and they really want to sell theirs instantly. So maybe they drop the price another 20,000 stubs. So if you wanted to put a buy order in for 680,000 stubs, you're going to be the first one to get that order process. As soon as an Eric Davis goes under 680,000 stubs, buy another seller. So that's a way you can actually save stubs and buy them for even cheaper than they are on the market. But let's say you just bought the Eric Davis, for example, for 700,000 stubs on the market. What you want to do right after that is sell this Eric Davis for a profit. Now, what you have to keep in mind when you're selling and reflipping cards is that every card you sell on the marketplace and MLB The Show will be taxed 10%. So let's say we sell this Eric Davis after we buy it for 700,000. We sell it for 800,000 stubs on the market. We are going to get taxed 10% on that 800,000 stubs that we just sold it for we're actually going to walk away with 720,000 stubs in total which means we made a profit of 20 percent which is definitely a really solid profit and we'll take any profit we can get so that's a pretty good sell value if you're able to do that but it doesn't always work out in your favor and again when we're talking MLB the show 22 you're going to be using bronze cards silver cards gold cards so you're not going to be spending 700,000 stubs on one card so it's going to be much easier to flip and a lot more people are going to be buying these cards instead of a 99 overall card for 700,000 stubs so those are the basics to follow Follow when you're reselling cards on the marketplace make sure you're always operating at a profit after the tax keep that in mind look for cards you can actually make a profit on now the next thing i want to talk about is going to save you a lot of stubs if you're a newer player to the game we can use eric davis for example for this as well is creating sell orders you see buy and sell at the top these are buy now and sell now like i said with the buys already you can do a buy order you can do the same thing with a sell order which is going to save you a ton of stubs so you're going to see right underneath sell you're going to see sellable i don't have any eric davises right now but you'll see the price underneath that if you wanted to sell an eric davis car right now no questions asked you don't have to wait for somebody to buy it on the marketplace you can sell an eric davis asap for 600,000 stubs and you will get 540,000 stubs instantly after your 10 percent tax is taken away but that's not what you want to do if you do the sell now especially with higher level cars you're going to lose out on a lot of stubs instead what you want to do is create a sell order when we looked at the buy orders earlier the lowest eric davis on the marketplace right now is just about 700 
600,000 stubs. So what you want to do instead of selling it for 600,000 right away is create a sell order for a little bit less than the lowest on the marketplace, which is 700,000. So let's say for instance, we can go for 685,000 stubs. The reason why you want to put that in is because people, if they want to buy an Eric Davis, yours is going to be the cheapest on the marketplace. And let's say you sold it for 600,000, you end up with 540,000 stubs. Compare that to selling it for 685,000 stubs, you're going to be getting 70,000 more stubs if you put the sell order in instead of selling now. So those are the basics when it comes to flipping cards, buy orders, sell orders, make sure to take advantage of all that to save yourself some stubs and make yourself more stubs and it will be the show 22. The second thing we will talk about is going to be take advantage of day one. If you are getting the game on April 1st and even so on April 5th, depending on prices of some cards, is that all the cards in the game, especially on April 1st, are going to be the cheapest they are going to be for weeks. Live series Mike Trout might only be 250,000 to 300,000 stubs at the beginning of the year, where in a few weeks or even a few days, he is going to go up to 500,000, 600,000 stubs on the marketplace. Now you're probably like, why is that happening? That is because not a lot of people at the beginning of the year have the stubs to go out and buy Mike Trout for 500,000 stubs. So 300,000 stubs is actually a fair value for him for the first couple of days, but that's where you want to take advantage and buy some of these live series diamond cards before they go up in price and the next few days if you have the luxury of having a lot of stubs and you're able to buy a lot of these live series diamonds what you want to do is buy them hold them and then sell them a few weeks down the road when their price has drastically gone up that's taking advantage of day one and that applies to every single card not just live series cards any other programs or headliner cards that do come out they're going to go up in value as the days go on and more people get stuff so you want to take advantage of day one and buy as many cards as you can on the flip side of that is if you pull a high live series diamond like mike trout ronald acuna jr juan soto i would not recommend selling them the first few days even if you want to get stubs for other collections you pull a duplicate maybe you can do that but if you want to maximize your stub payout i would hold them for a few days even a few weeks wait for their price to completely max out and then sell them the next thing we're going to take a look at is keep in mind collections in the game on day one or any point throughout the entire year because collections have more of a value than just the stub count let's take for example the 42 series that came out day one of mlb the show 21 the 42 series was a jackie robinson collection which we'll take a look at that required 42 individual cards to go into it for you to unlock a 99 overall jackie robinson now i made a video earlier on this week where i think there's going to be a 99 overall shohei otani collection that's going to be very similar to this 42 collection for jackie robinson and mlb the show 22 and i think they're going to do it the same way there's a diamond cover athlete choice pack which we'll take a look at in a little bit that i think are going to release cards similar to these 42 cards that you're going to have to collect and partner that with team affinity season one and that's going to get you a 99 overall Shohei Otani as we quickly are going to take a look at the collection for Jackie Robinson just give me one second as we scroll over here so those cover athlete choice packs along with team affinity season one are going to be put into this collection and that's going to get you a 99 overall Shohei Otani now what is that going to mean that means for the cover athlete choice packs the cards that can be sold on the marketplace like the 42 cards from last year because TA1 team affinity one those cards are not sellable but the Ken Griffey Jr the Frank Thomas those cards are sellable on the market day one they were very very cheap which I'm going to show you in a second they were only about 25,000 stubs each and you're going to see within the next month as more people got the game and wanted to get 99 overall Jackie Robinson they were getting to prices of 69 70,000 stubs even higher on the marketplace a lot of people are going to want to collect whichever this 99 overall collection award is going to be so I would definitely recommend stocking up on some of these 88 overall cards that are in that cover athlete choice pack and then selling them down the road so here's an example of one of those 42 cards at the beginning of the year we're we'll taking a look at Frank Thomas as I scroll down to when the game came out which was on April 17th. You guys are going to see right here, Frank Thomas was going for about 25,000 stubs. And you'll see as April increased by the end of April, he was now going for 40,000 stubs. And all these cards in the 42 series were basically following suit. So they were all about the same price point. And then you're going to see even more by the end of May, these cards were going for about 65,000, just about to reach 70,000 stubs. And in the beginning of June, they were 75,000 stubs. So basically a third of the price on release state of what they winded up being in June so you want to stack up on these cards as long as they're not super expensive if people know this going into MLB the show 22 maybe their price point right away will be super expensive but I feel like in the first few days it shouldn't be so take advantage of that and buy as many as you can I also just realized halfway through the video I was using the wrong glasses 
these are the glasses I should be using. They don't have as much glare off the reflection of the TV and the screen in front of me as my other one. So now we're good to go. So we had a little bit of technical difficulty there with the glasses. So I said, the only way to make stubs at MLB The Show is not by flipping and doing stuff on the market. There are other ways to make stubs and now we're gonna go into some of those ways. And one of the best ways to make stubs because you're not only gonna make stubs here, you're also gonna get packs are for instance, a conquest. A conquest is great for making stubs by playing games against the computers. And you're gonna see every single goal you complete in a conquest is gonna give you a reward. For the most part, at the beginning of the year, some of these conquests shouldn't be that difficult. You're gonna get stub rewards. You're gonna get pack rewards. You're even gonna get player rewards in some of these, which are gonna sell for a lot on the marketplace. But throughout the conquest map, besides just the goals that you get and conquering the strongholds and the rewards for beating the conquest, you're also gonna find hidden stub rewards. You're gonna find hidden packs and you're gonna get yourself XP towards the first inning program by playing conquest. So there are a lot of benefits for playing conquest at the beginning of the year, especially if you're a newer player helping you learn the game as well. So take advantage of conquest. The best program to use to make stubs and MLB the show though is going to be Team Affinity. Team Affinity Season 1 not only is going to get you free 88 overall cards, which I'll show you all right now, or whatever the overall they want to give. It's going to give one player from every single team that you can earn by completing this, but this is also going to get you even more packs than conquest. And these Team Affinity packs are basically the equivalent to a standard the show packs you have a 1 in 50 chance of getting a live series diamond because at the end of the day some of the best ways to get stubs in MLB the show is by getting packs and selling these live series cards on the market because if you pull a Mike Trout that's a 500,000 stub pull right there so you want to be able to get as many packs as you possibly can and team affinity if you complete all these I believe gives you more than 200 packs between all six divisions and that is just standard packs that does not include ball and a habit packs that does not include these bronze silver packs so there are a ton of packs to earn in team affinity it's a great program you get free cards you get free packs and you want to get as many packs as possible to make yourself some stubs the next thing we'll take a look at here are going to be daily moments and daily moments are super easy one moment a day and you're going to earn pack rewards stub rewards jerseys ball player items as you're completing the tier list right now it says forever daily moments program but when 22 comes out it's going to be the april daily moments program and when you're having that you're going to have more packs more stubs there's going to be players you can earn at the end of the daily moments program so this is super easy to just do one moment a day and you're going to earn yourself some packs and other great rewards stubs as well so that's a super easy way to earn yourself some stubs free packs where you can pull live series diamonds next we're going to take a look at a different type of moment and that is going to be the tops now moments now the tops now moments especially at the beginning of the year are going to give you great players that you can add to your team they get diamond started in tops now very very early but you also can sell these cards on the marketplace and it's about five or six moments every single week they're super easy to do they're basically five or six daily moments that you can do whenever you want and then sell those cards on the marketplace you're going to see diamonds going for 15 20 000 stubs at the beginning of the year so take advantage of the tops now moments the last thing i'm going to talk about in this video really depends on your financial situation if you're able to go ahead and purchase one of the larger editions of mlb the show the digital deluxe or the nvp edition they come with great benefits that can help you make stubs even quicker and give you a great head start at the beginning of the year in my opinion because not only are you going to get the game on april 1st instead of april 5th which is already a great advantage which i already showed you with the buy orders sell orders and flipping cards on the market and investing into some cards but you're also going to get yourself stubs right off the bat if you get the digital deluxe edition which i already made a video on all these editions which one gives you the most value so i'm not going to go super in depth here but with the digital deluxe you get 25k stubs right off the bat you get that cover athlete choice pack so that's going to give you one of those cards completely free you get a diamond choice pack which we don't even know what's going to be in it yet you could possibly get mike trout in that pack right off the bat and you only spent a few extra dollars than the standard edition and then you're also also going to get 20 of the show packs five gold choice packs there are so many benefits to the digital deluxe edition and there's a lot of benefits in the nvp edition as well you're going to get one diamond choice pack which is again could be the pack that could have mike trout you don't get the cover athlete choice pack unfortunately but you do get two gold choice packs 10 the show packs you do get 10k stubs and you get double daily login rewards so there are benefits to getting the nvp edition and the digital deluxe i think the digital deluxe edition i know it's the most expensive but it definitely gives you the most value out of all these editions okay everyone that's gonna do it for the video today again i have to make an updated version obviously day one when mlb the show 22 comes out that way we have the updated content but for those of you watching when mlb the show 22 has come out you can still use these methods still use these ways as i'm making all the videos day one for you guys so if you enjoyed it do me a favor hit the like button hit that subscribe if you are new i would greatly appreciate it and make sure to follow me on my social links which are on the screen for you all right now but that's gonna do it for this video i'll see you all in the next one have a great rest of your day peace